Hi guys, it's Marina from Jolly Angel and here I am as promised with me part two tutorial of the uh, Handy Hippo Crafts Design Team. Okay, now in the first part I showed you how to do the tag and build it up with um, the clay painted um, bricks um, using the distressing tool that we used, if you remember, done this. Another thing I did forget to show you guys, I'll just bring a black bit of black card in just to show you and zoom in on this tool. Is at the very end here, you have got, um, it's not a lip, it's like a sharpish end, but you know, flat. Like, um, but like a screwdriver type thing. I can show you best I can. <coughs> Two flat, flat side, but going to like a, a screwdriver flat end and what that is actually for guys is if you've got a rub on and you want to put a sorry about the I'm trying some nail varnish out so I haven't done one side um but if you put a rub on on a piece of card or whatever you want to put it on a project and you take the end of this tool and you'll just literally obviously use this instead of um I think it's a lollipop stick that you get with your rub-ons you can actually use this so you don't have to worry if you lose your lollipop sticks or anything with your rub-ons you've got this this will do exactly the same job and just rub it on for you okay guys okay let me zoom back out a little bit right okay now as I said um, I got you up to the part where um, you made the bricks colored the bricks stenciled the bricks to make them look old and worldy and that and I've got my tag now to this stage. Okay, it's dimensional, um, butterflies within the tag. Now, I'll zoom in a bit now and show you what I've done. On the back, just before I glued the this on that we're done, just before I glued that on, I also haven't done it on here, but I also inked the edges and I came quite a bit in to do the inking. And that is because when you want to, to fold the uh, roll the ends that you don't see any of the white paper. And also to make sure because I put this poster sort of on at an angle, I didn't want any of the white to show. So I made sure I done. So as you can see here, you can see I've glued all the little bricks down, the wooden bricks down that were made. And I've just curled some of the edges, not all of them, but just some of the edges. And of course, you can't see the white really. Um, I just wanted it to, you know, old and worldy, as I said. So like I say, we've done the bricks now, put the little bricks here, glued all them down, left the middle section. As you can see here but what I did do is just put a little piece of flowered um, a little square like this browned it a bit to age it a bit and I just put that like um, it's like a shabby chic uh, effect on this paper um, I got this free out of a magazine but there's both two sides one's like really bright colors but the other side is sort of faded, same colours but in a faded style. However, what I've done is glued that at the background of the, the hole that we made. Then put the bricks down and glued all the bricks around as you can see here. Yeah. Glued them all around up the sides as we did for the first tutorial. And then what I've done then, so when I glued this in, I only glued the edges of the poster because I wanted to leave room under here so that I could slip some acetate in. Now, what I've actually done, I'll get a bit of black cord here. And there you go. And what I've done, I, up the top here, I just cut down, get me scissors, and I'll show you what I've done. Sorry guys, and I just cut down little strips, didn't matter what length, I just kept them a, a, a good length for now, and then 
cut that off like that then what I've done is I just bent a little bit of one end just took it and bent it doesn't matter how much you do it's just enough so that when you glue it you can just when you get your tag and you've got this you can just take this end glue it and slip it under under the tag where, the, where you got your tag and where you got your poster slip it on that and glue it down and just leave it for a few minutes i glued it as i said before this is the glue i use which you can get from handy hippo website so they do sell this and it is cheaper than what i paid for it of course what i do do is i put it in this little bottle um now my local hobby um craft shop sells these not hobby craft sorry local hobby shop um craft shop i should say sells these little bottles now I, I did pay 150 for it which i did think was a bit expensive but what i wanted is this very fine tip and what i do is pour the glue into here because it's loose nice loose i don't think you'd get away with it with p pve because you need to water it down significantly to get this but it, it's flowing so it's a flowing type of um, glue so I wanted this very fine tip and I've got more control then of what I want to glue. So like I said, I just glued the end down there, slipped it under and just let it dry. And I'd done that periodically. I didn't do them all together. I just dotted them around different places as you can see with the tag. These are all different bits of acetate that are just dotted around. Now some are left loose, some of the acetate, like for these, for instance. But this one here with the two butterflies on, what I actually done is when I had the acetate, I just took me scissors and just curled it like that so and then made it so it was just a little bit curled okay like that and like i see when i have when it was under here i slipped that on and then the end here what i actually done then is just bent that as I've done the bottom, I glued then, you can see, glued that end underneath and just slipped it under there. So that I've created, if I can show you, in a different angle there, I've created that type of, like a, a loop. I've created that, like a little handle, where you can then glue two butterflies on. So I've done that only twice on two different lots. I've just done it to what I felt, um, where I felt needed. Like I've done it, sorry guys, I've done it here. This one is empty at the moment. So this one's curled and I've done it there. And then of course this one with the two butterflies on. I've also done it from inside and to the edge and tucked it in just under the poster there. So it makes it look like there's two butterflies flying out of this hole. Now, what I've done then is I've got some loose butterflies that I've stamped now from this stamp that I'm going to show you. So let me show you this stamp and then we'll continue. Okay, um, this is a, a butterfly stamp. And if you actually look here, I'll zoom in a bit. It actually does three butterflies in one. It's called the AK Tools Butterfly Lear and Punch from Handy Hippo Crafts. And I've had a play with this and I've got to be fair, it is a lovely, lovely punch. Now, depending on which butterfly you want will result in, in, two, in three different butterflies. So, first of all unlock it it locks in which is handy 
so we'll just push it down and that's it unlocked and that's it open then right so it just depends on what butterfly you want now there's three different ways of punches obviously when you go to this one which is more intricate and has a bit more design on it i'll zoom in a bit more for you guys that's if it can handle it the camera so i've noticed it can't handle if you zoom too far in probably zoom too far in oh that'll have to do it's got a bit, bit more intricacy on this one and just a little here and this one's just a plain punch out for to do this one this punch has to go all the way down when you press it let's just zoom out i'll show you you basically press all the way down and then at the back here hang on sorry it's up at the back it's here if you can see this this helps to stop the punch from going too far down depending on what butterfly so as you move it to the second one as you can see this moves and as you punch you don't go so far down these stop you from going too far down you've got a little um levers here that basically stop you and it'll hit that to stop you and then just the plane punched straight out full butterfly it just takes you that far so you must remember because when i first got this i was trying to push because i tried this butterfly first i was trying to push them all all the way down and it was only when i looked and i seen this mechanism that you have to be careful there because just to be aware of it i don't think you could break it because it's quite a solid punch but just to be aware that this is the only one this butterfly here is the only one that when you punch it it'll punch all the way down and close the other two don't so it's just one little punch there then you can move it over if you want to change your design and sort it a little three quarters of the way down there and then full it'll take a full punch down then for this one so just to make you aware because like i see when i first done it i was I was trying to force it all the way down thinking I hadn't punched anything out but I actually had okay okay now I'll show you the three different ones that you can punch out now so I've got a nice bit of black cord here for the background and the first one I'm going to do I'm just going to take a bit of white uh, scrap cord and I'm just going to punch out the full butterfly so it's down and that's all it is as simple as that you feel like you want to go all the way down but you actually don't have to and that is the first butterfly which is there okay now the second butterfly like I see you've gone halfway down with the first punch now it's just three quarters of the way down with this one so again put your card stock in or oh, i've used 300 in this and it still punches three through through 300 uh, gsm on your card so i'm not sure it'll go any higher um but so far that's that's the highest i've put in so far so anyway next butterfly just go down punch and again this is the one and as you can see there's some little holes on the end there and that's the next design yeah. now the last one is the one that comes out as a full um sorry with more uh, embellishment on a basically way right let's have a look now and this one goes all the way down so you must remember all the way down and she will go with this one so that's the three different butterflies that will punch out let me see if I can move me card instead of the camera there so just a plain full butterfly 
one with a little bit of design on it and one with a full design and that is the three now what you can also do with this is you can layer it so these are meant to be layered so maybe that one on the bottom then this one on the top like that and then this one on the top of that one and that's how you layer it and then of course it's up to you if you want to do all the same colour and layer it then you can or maybe you want to do different colours sorry I'm trying to find my camera book guys right or you may be want to do all different colours and put it together now I have got one here that I've done that I only done with two layers which is this one I'll put it onto the black card so you can see it and the bottom one as you can see is just a plain punched out uh, butterfly the plain one which is this one and then the second one then is just the middle one that I punched out which is this one and of course I punched it out of this paper that I showed you and then just brown the edges to age it a bit and then I just put some glitter glass on here and um, this glitter glass I actually got courtesy of Amanda Crafty Moo um, she sent us some lover uh, for us to give it a try because I've been looking to try and find glitter glass actually happened to have some so thank you Amanda for that very grateful for you for doing that and I do find I'm very impressed with this glitter glass it's it's stunning actually really really nice but anyway so that's what I've done there and like I say you can layer the three of them up you don't have to just layer two or you might just want to do a full one and then maybe the more punched out one there you can mix and match these any way you can however what I've done with mine was I decided just to do single ones for this particular project because I didn't want to go too heavy on the butterflies now what I did do is I've cut out all different same same punch I've used the punch but different ways I've done it so that's the full butterfly and here's the more intricate one that I've done and then there's another full one that I've done now how I achieved these looking like this these butterflies there's the middle one with just um, a few holes punched out and then I've done this one and I'll show you how to do this in a minute now how I've done these was I actually downloaded from Google some butterflies and um, the pictures of them and then I used some vellum and printed them off on vellum and then just punched them out now how I had to do it because you can't really see this from the top let me just zoom out guys you can't see what you're punching out from the top obviously so what I actually done is when I had me vellum with the butterflies printed on I actually have this I can just move the card this is what I had in the car and it's um, to stop things moving around but what I've done is I had that on my desk turned the punch upside down like that then I just got the vellum put it in now I used my light to basically look inside of that so that when I actually put the vellum in I could see the butterfly itself and then I just lined it up as best I can not all of them turned out well very good well lined up but I've worked with them and what I've done then is just went from the top here and just pressed it down once I'd lined it up and pressed it down this way and this stopped it from moving around but I had it on me glass I didn't have it on me paper but it stopped it moving around and I could do it this way just so I could see into there to line these up inside and I think they worked out quite well so that's the punch now 
one thing I will see is when you lock this away, this must be right over to the right hand side. It's got to be right over to the, the more intricate butterfly. Um, so that you can push it all the way down, turn it round and then lock it. It will not lock if you haven't if you've got the butterflies anywhere else, it will not lock. So you must push that all the way over. Press it down. Now it is a heavy punch. It is quite substantial. But I sort of handled it by just keeping it on my bench, um, on my table, my desk, with with this, um, which you can buy cheap in any pound shop. And I just, what I've done is when I turned it over, pressed it down and then locked it in. And that's how I, I've done that really. So I'm not carrying it and moving it around all the time because it can be a heavy heavy punch but it's absolutely worth every penny because you get these three beautiful butterflies out of it and of course you can layer or keep them single and do all sorts and embellish them whichever way you like after that but this is absolutely stunning from Handy Hippo Crafts and um, I'm pleased I've got this because uh, I love butterflies anyway but this is just brilliant because it does three different kinds however Let's get back to the project now. And anyway, so I punched out all my, my butterflies. And as you can see on here, on the tag, I've already stuck some on. Now, what I've done is stuck some on the bottom, there. And I've just done them with these. Just little square foam pads. They're not dots, they're squares. So, just them small ones. Um, some butterflies, like this one here, I've made it look like it's it's soaring that, it's flying this way. Um, I put on the corner of its butterfly um, wing, on that very corner there, I just put two of them, two um, square foam pads. One on top of the other, stuck it down, and then stuck that butterfly down, and that's all that's attached with. It's basically to make it look like it's flying this way. Then this one was stuck on one, just the one pad, because that look, it's looking like it's just coming out the hole, ready to fly off. Some of them have started flying away from the hole. Uh, like these two have come out and flying. Same under here, this is two pads I have under this one to lift it up off the the tag off the poster and that's where I've gotten to so far now what I've done with these butterflies as well is that also like where I, I missed where the white is of the vellum is where I basically missed the design of the butterfly but all I've done is glittered it up with a bit of iridescence glitter then I made these very small, I don't know if you can see, antennas, just to fit these butterflies. Now I just made that with a very fine wire that is quite flexible, very fine, and I got this free out of a magazine as well, so that's, uh, it's just, it's very, very flexible. So that's the type of thing you want, just to achieve these very small antennas. So once I made them, I glued them. I don't know if you can see that. Let's bring the card in. There. I glued them on and let them dry overnight. And then now these are ready to be stuck on. So here I have a bit of acetate across here. You can just see it there gleaming. And it's just basically putting your butterfly on and trying to work out how you want it to look like I like that look so I'm going to turn it around so it's facing me guys if you don't mind so that I can see what I'm doing yeah and all I've done is take me glue and then you just got to tip it up hi guys 
sorry about that me um cord uh, went so i've had to put another one in so okay here we go anyway so as i was saying to glue this on now i've decided to glue it on so it flies like this way i don't know if you can see that guys sorry about the lights they're absolutely shocking these lights okay now as i said this glue and all i want to do is just put it into this corner here and i just go around the design there i don't um go across or in just put the glue around there where i'm going to stick it okay and then just bend the wings in a bit and then there i just glued it there and leave that to to dry now as you can see i've stuck other butterflies on um and some of the butterflies i've cut out of this paper as well that i got so that's that there now the next butterfly I want to put in i want to make it look like there's a butterfly coming out of this hole that isn't quite ready to take flight so what i've done here is this one here and you can see it looks a bit um bent i don't it come too far in guys but what i've done i'll get my black card again is i took the middle you could take any of the butterflies, the designs. Again, I cut it out to this cord, so it's a bit sturdier. But what I've done is I took the middle and then just started bending these wings. Now what I've done is bent, um, trying to work out now how I've done it. Yeah, had the butterfly like this in my hand and bent the wings away from us just causing creasing just creasing at the very edge like that just a little bit and the same on this side just a little bend like that okay and then i bent again took me my nail just pushed it in to where that crease sort of a little bit down from there to cause a crease and then just brought the whole of the wing and bent that towards that nail and there like uh, you're doing a fan sort of thing just like a concertina bend but because you've got the shape of a wing and depending on, because that was cord stock i needed to give it a little help with me with me nail and i just kept bending like i bent that down that way and the same on that side then like i see just like a concertina and then i bent them towards the body that way and then the same this side just bending like that till i achieved this sort of look and that's what i got here that sort of look and then what I do do with each butterfly is I just take it at the end and slightly bow it. Don't put a, a crease in, it's just a little bow, just bow in the end of the wing to make it look more de defined. See the difference it makes once you bow it? And that's what I've done with this, just bowed it to make it more defined and i've done it really with all the butterflies i put on i just took the the butterfly and just bowed the wings a little bit without causing a crease and like that and just went around the wing like this and then bent the the wings in so i can have them at whatever angle I like whether or not I wanted them flying this way, wings flapped up, and then, you know, they look more defined then, there's more definition to them, the wing. Okay, guys, so that's how I achieved this. 
and of course I browned the edge and I just glittered the body and obviously stuck the antennae on. Right, next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a pad on this one because this is going into the where we've created a hole within the paper. This I'm just going to stick under here like that, just secure it on, just press it right down. Okay, and then take the cover off. Okay, now this can be a bit tricky, but just take your time. Now, you've got to decide which way do you want your butterfly to come out. So it's all right to bend these down because they're only on acetate now, so they're fine. These are, I glued last night, so they're quite sturdy now, they're, they're well glued in. So it's a case of where I want it to go. Do I want it to come out this way, that way? You can have it coming out anyway. However, I think I'll go this way. So I'm just gonna stick it where it looks like it's starting to come out of the hole. And I'm just gonna push this down like that. That's it, that's where I want it. So that it looks like that. If you can see that, guys. I'll try and zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, just to make it look like it's just climbing out of the hole now and ready to, to go off. I hope you can see that without it blurring too much. And then I'll go back out like that. Okay, and that is basically, once you've done all that, it is up to you if you want to put more or you want to put less. It's it's up to your imagination what you want to do to create your, your three-dimensional tag. Take to the side there. And you can see this is three-dimensional. Now, for you who have already noticed, <laughs> there's a ribbon on you, and it's a peach ribbon. And let me just start by saying, this is going to be going to Mel, Mel, Melissa Gibson. Um, Ash is wanting people to support the Womb Cancer Support UK group, um, which is a very worthy cause, um, I must say. And what I've done as... Um, I found out what colour it was, which is purple, uh, peach. So that's why I've gone along the peach theme with this to keep. You all know me now. I like to keep uh, everything um, coordinated. So it's a peach little ribbon there. And what I've done is the wooden I've put is honouring the taken. And um, this is what this tag represents, is honouring the taken. And... On the back, I forgot to show you last time, I stippled this with um, with um, the stencil brush that I showed you, the big stencil brush, which was this one. Um, and I've done it with the clay, put this over, lined it up, done it with the clay first, and again with the black and white, just like I've done with the... the um, bricks so-called bricks and i just stippled it all and that's all you got to do nothing more than that nothing and then i just ink the edges then with the vintage photo ink and on the back here i have made some tags and these have got um don't know if you can say that guys is wound cancer support uk made by marina and youtube geordie angel and I'm going to put that on the back of it, these tags. I've made more than one. This is the one I've showed you that I've made um, for my tutorial for you. And like I say, everything that I've used here, yeah, more or less, um, the paints, not the wooden pieces. Some stuff has been downloaded from the internet. And both the paints and the tags, the butterfly punch, the distressing tool um, has all come from Handy Hippo Crafts. Not so much a paint, sorry, but they do sell these paints that I showed you in, um, I'll just take that away now to see if you can see it better. 
and uh, this is um number one tag that i made um and like i say this has all been donated now to um melissa on behalf of handy hippo crafts and myself because they did provide the equipment to to make this really so it will be donated on behalf of them and but i have made two more and the other two is this one here which is the tag again done in the brick theme but the word i've put on here is admiring the survivors for this one and the last one is support the fighters and obviously it's a peach knickers hanging on a line <laughs> and that is the three tags that i've made for this um, very worthy cause but it is on behalf of handy hippo crafts and myself and um i did make a box the ends are a bit wobbly um because because i put the the sides on the strips on with wet glue instead of tape it's uh, went and dried wobbly but this is the box i've made now for the tags to go in and uh, for ha for womb cancer support to to auction off with the box and uh, like i see i've just got to put the tags on the back but these fit in there there we go and um, that is uh, my donation to womb cancer support and i have made a lid which i will embellish i'm not going to embellish too much because like i said i don't want to take it away from um what's inside the tags um so i hope you enjoy this melissa and um i hope it does get a you know even if it's just five pound it's five pound isn't it no you know somebody auctions gets auctioned off for a fiver that would be brilliant it's five pound there you go guys so like i said now the tools that I've demonstrated you for this um, process now is the punch, uh, and this, and I absolutely love this. And so far, this has basically made everything else I've been using, like needle files and things like that. It's it's made everything redundant really because I use this now, and I'm even using the bone folder side now. So um it's been brilliant it, it is an excellent excellent tool and then the tags um four and three three quarters by two and three quarters i think it is these tags you can get all different sizes on the website so you don't just have to have these size you can get the big the large tag tags as well and basically everything i've used you can get off um, handy hippo crafts um so just pop along guys have a look um it's worth having a look because i also have clearance sales as well and uh, they you can get some bargains there that's definitely but everything I've, I've noticed that i've used that they do do sell i have bought a lot dearer than i have seen it on the website so go along guys have a look they've got more than this kind of punch they've got all different kinds of punches but um, I do like this one and I do like the new tool and definitely these have come in very, very handy to do the three tags. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So I hope you like it. Um, please leave a comment and um, pop over and have a look at Handy Hippo Crafts. So thank you guys for, for watching and have a great day. Bye.